Thank you very much, Dave and Jason Lloyd. Now, it is the end of an era in Akron. Partial emergency demolition of the historic Rubber Bowl is set to begin as early as next week. But before it's gone for good, we're going to take a look back tonight at the Memories Forge inside its walls. Here's the Manny Abraham. And the band starts its final rehearsal. Hours of rehearsals leading up to a performance right here. The Rubber Bowl, home to University of Akron athletes and fans for decades. The stadium, built nearly 80 years ago, has seated thousands cheering on their favorites, from high school football to the professional league. The field hosted the Cleveland Browns in 1956 and even the Dallas Texans in 1952, winning their only game right here in Akron's Rubber Bowl. Its history includes players like Akron Zip and former Browns quarterback Charlie Fry and a young Big Ben Roethlisberger. But the history of the bowl wasn't limited to football. In 1988, Monsters of Rock, headlined by Van Halen. And another icon making a stop in 1972. We're going to let the students enjoy themselves, but they're not going to break any laws. But a riot did break out. Photographer Ott Gangle capturing the moments at the concert. A list of musicians followed. The Grateful Dead with Tom Petty and Bob Dylan was a night to remember for WONE's Tim Doherty. While we're sitting there enjoying the show, who should come up and sit down next to us, all the WONE staff, but Bernie Kozar who had his Wayfarers on, just came to enjoy the music. So that's my favorite Rubber Bowl memory. Football and music, the heart of the Rubber Bowl, but it was also the campsite for the Ohio National Guard, stationed inside the stadium during the Akron riots in 1968. Fast forward about 40 years, and there you would find the last sounds to echo out of the 35,000 seat stadium. The University of Akron letting go and moving on to a new stadium closer to campus with years passing by. So this property has been largely neglected and abandoned and, and just sort of left to decay. But the history and memories made in this graffiti covered shell will live on. Amani Abraham, Channel 3 News.